Great afternoon, kings and queens of Father's Glorious Nation. Today, we're going to revisit the topic of divine discernment. I say revisit the topic because, or rather I say our, and re, re, we're revisiting the topic of divine discernment also because it's righteously one of the simplest solutions of life. In receiving the proper discernment from God, you are accepting the fact that you have to change your perspective. You're accepting the fact that you have to change your point of view. You have to change the way that you look at the problem. You have to change the way that you are going about finding the solution. In allowing God to infuse you with his discerning eye, with his discerning knowledge, with his discerning peace, you're able to, you're able to realize you're able to realize the flaws in your ways. You're able to realize exactly where you have been going wrong. You're able to realize that you've been, I put it this way, you, you're, you, you begin to realize, it's almost like PEMDAS when you're in mathematics. It's almost like PEMDAS in mathematics. Everybody at one point in time get confused on it. So should I, after you've gone through the parentheses, the exponents, the multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, after you've gone through everything, you're down to the last part of the problem where now you can't just go through parts of the of the of the equation and break it down. Now you have to go from left to right. You now you have to go from left to right in order to kind of break down the particular last parts of the problem, meaning that you have to go from addition to subtraction. You have to go in line to break down that particular problem, that particular equation. And life is exactly like that particular life is exactly like math. Life is life is one big equation. And all it takes is one step and you can crumble in the entire problem. The entire problem can crumble. The entire solution can crumble into a bigger problem rather. So if you look at life as an equation, understand that God has the key. He has the formulas. He knows the exact formula that you need to use within this exact equation. He knows exactly how to help you reach that particular solution properly. He knows how to help you break it step by step through that equation so that you get down to the proper solution. So through your life, as you continue to build, as you continue to grow, look at life, look at every single problem, look at every single failure as a as a as an equation. Simplify it. Look at it as look at it look at it as an equation. What part of this equation am I missing? Father God, which part which step have I missed? Which step am I forcing myself to miss miss? Or which step am I allowing myself to ignore? Because sometimes we don't want to go through certain steps in order to achieve our goals. Whenever we're on a, if you're on a health cave, you're trying to get yourself back right together. Sometimes you don't want to have to quit smoking or you don't want to have to quit drinking just so that you can get your health back together. Sometimes you don't want to have to let go of these certain junk foods in order to achieve the particular body or to achieve, achieve this particular form that you're wishing to achieve. It's the same thing in life. In order to achieve the exact goals that you wish to achieve, you have to grow into the person who is worth achieving those goals. You have to grow into the person who's worth achieving those blessings. And you are more than worthy. You are literally the only person who's stopping you from receiving every single thing that you deserve. Everything begins in the mind. Mentally, life is where your mind is. That's how I look at it. Life is where your mind is because whatever you think you become, whatever you think is what you see. If you look at every single thing and all you see is a problem, you will only see problems. But if you look at everything and you are consistently looking for a solution, solutions will flow to you more easily. You are what you think. Everything around you is pro is the product of your mind. Every individual that you come across, every problem that you come across, every success that you succeed at, everything that you achieve in life begins here. Everything that you achieve in life begins in the mind. Everything that you fell out in life begins in the mind. Don't stop you don't 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 get in your own way. Or if you feel that you are consistently getting in your own way, consistently kick your own tail. Like even when you're kind of down and out, just feeling physically ill. Like, as I said before, I was going through the issue of... This has been a, a, a month-long thing now. At the beginning of the month, as I said, I was having issues with my tooth. Consistent, like, pain that puts you out. Pain that makes you have no choice but to lay down and allow it to kind of just roll away from you. Pain like that. Pain that makes you physically stop. When you go through certain physical elements that make you physically stop and it just kind of just gets to your head, 
Just remain patient with yourself. Remain patient with the process of the healing of your body. Do not fight the process. That's one thing that I'm still kind of having issues with. Like today, I literally slept all day. Like this entire, this entire process has been draining for me. Like after my tooth went out, it's like as soon as my tooth is always messing up and then I try to take the antibiotics and I had a reaction to it and I was going through the whole mess of dealing with the antibiotics and then to come off the antibiotics and then have my tooth hurting once more. Even though it's not as intense, it's just for my tooth to be hurting once more. It's all draining. Like even as I speak with y'all now, I feel drained. I've taken, normally it takes me about two or three times to get the entire video going, but this time it's been, it, 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 it's taken me about 20 but I just speak this to say that you will get hit from every single end on every single aspect of your life. If you can, if 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 if, if Satan, if God, if Satan, <clears throat> if these demons, if these negative energies, whatever you look at it, however you look at the negative forces that come around you, however you look at the negative energies that 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 kind of attempt to influence you in life however which way you look at it whenever they come against you if they can't come against your money if they can't come or if they rather if they can't break you through your finances if they can't break through break you through your family if they can't break you through your hobbies or if they can't break you through your addictions if they can't break you through all of these things they will come for your body they will come for every single thing that you are they come for your mind your body your soul at any given point you can come under attack or at any given point you can just get it can just 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 be a domino effect of back to back to back to back to back things but when these things occur just understand that you are on the right track for some reason you are being intensely hit you are being intensely attacked you may not know the reason now but the time but that <laughs> but when the time comes all will be made known and I'll be 100% honest with y'all. I still only know half of what is to come. And that is still enough to keep me in faith to be able to just keep pushing. Because even now, in a couple more minutes, I'm getting the rest of our stuff together. And then we're leaving out. We're supposed to be going to South Carolina to, for, for Thanksgiving, for a friend's event. For, for Thanksgiving, for an annual family event. And honestly and truly, I've been fighting this throughout the last couple of days as well because that's a long trip too. That's yet even more time, just more draining. And it's like, on top of that, I needed to do the video for everyone for today as well. So it's like, no matter what you're going through, always push for your goals. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're ailed by, if you feel that you need to do it, if you feel like you need to just push, Push and take care of the things that you wish to take care of. Take care of that. The reason I make sure I go out to Thanksgiving is because I promised my family. And I love them with everything in me. And righteously, there's nothing that's really stopping me from going up there. And I'm only using this as, as an example to say that even when you really in your body feel that you don't want to, if you feel in your soul or in your heart that it's just something that you need to do, do it. Follow your heart. Follow your soul because that's what God will always lay. And I pray that each and every single one of y'all have a blessed day blessed thanksgiving blessed holidays and i pray to each and every single one of y'all have a divinely blessed god willed and god filled evening have a good one y'all